Hey everyone, welcome back. So one of the questions I get all the time in the innovation chat is basically, how can I get the highest yield on just holding ETH? So this video aims to do just that. Uh, basically, this is the highest yield on just ETH that I've found in all of DeFi. So there's a few different ways to go about getting your yield on ETH, uh, but they all go through the Lido ETH2 staking mechanism. So with these strategies, you can earn up to about 16 or 17% APR on your ETH. So if you're not familiar with Lido, basically it allows anyone in DeFi to deposit ETH um, that will go towards the ETH2 validation process. So you basically just stake your ETH and you can forget about it. Obviously, there's a ton of TVL locked here, and this protocol was audited, and it's been out for a while, so it's pretty secure as far as DeFi goes. There's about 275,000 ETH stake, which is about a billion dollars. Um, and you can see here that the APR on just this staking process alone is 6.4%. Now, definitely stay tuned, because as I mentioned, the 6.4% APR is not actually the highest you can achieve through using Lido. So I'm going to walk you through that in just a bit. Uh, but I do want to highlight just the mechanism that Lido uses to get a yield on your ETH and how the tokenomics actually work. Now, I will, of course, include a link to the mechanics document below. Uh, but basically, when you stake your ETH, you receive STETH or staked ETH in return. Now, this staked ETH will always be worth exactly the price of Ethereum. So if you deposit one ETH, you receive one staked ETH back at any point in time whenever you deposit it. So you might be wondering, well, how am I actually getting that 6% APR on the staked ETH if the value is always going to be worth one ETH? The answer is that this token is actually a rebasing token. It rebases every day. So if on day one you put in one ETH, you receive one staked ETH, a year later you'll have about 1.06 ETH or 6% um, increase on the ETH that you deposited. Now this is not like the old pump and dump rebasing tokens. This is a legitimate mechanism that's actually worked. And just to kind of prove that, you can see here I have the CoinGecko page of ETH and the staked ETH, um, and you can see they're basically identical in price. Uh, this is because that this is a very liquid market. Uh, you can trade ETH and staked ETH on Curve and Uniswap, and you can really do this at any point in time. So you're able to stake your ETH up and then have it unlocked for use whenever you'd like if you choose to uh, end up converting your staked ETH for ETH and stop receiving those rewards. So you can see this is really advantageous and provides a lot of utility as opposed to staking up your ETH and locking it until ETH2 is available and you can withdraw that staked ETH. With this mechanism, you can uh, basically earn a yield whenever you want and then sell that to ETH um, if you want to stop earning a yield or need to use your assets. So that's a high level of the mechanics of staked ETH. I would, of course, recommend you read through this whole page. There's a ton of great information. I'm really just giving you the basics of what you need to know if you just want to jump in and start earning a yield right now. Now, one thing to note, if you do choose to stake ETH uh, through the Lido platform, this staking page is not actually available in the US. You have to turn on a VPN if you're US based. In a second, I'm going to show you why that won't really matter because the strategy I'm proposing actually does not involve interfacing through Lido at all. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, but just a heads up if you get that error message. I do want to point out though that you can see here I have 0 0.01 that I'm willing to stake and I will receive 0 0.01 staked ETH in return for that. It's always one to one. And you can see that here there's the current annual percentage rate on staked ETH. Um, as more ETH gets staked in ETH2 in general, that yield should go down. Uh, but we're going to be earning uh, significantly more than that anyway through this strategy. So best not to worry too, too much about if that drops down a bit. So as you can see here, they do say there's a slightly better rate on Curve. And this goes through the first part of the strategy on how to earn a yield on pure ETH. So if we head over to Curve, we can see that there's a staked ETH and ETH Curve pool. Now you can see that this Curve receives a base APY of 3.34%. Now this is very important. So when you stake in this pool, you're going to be depositing either ETH or staked ETH, and you're going to receive a token back that gives you a share of the entire pool. That means you're basically going to be owning a 50-50 percentage of ETH and staked ETH. So because you're going to be holding a 50-50 ratio of staked ETH and ETH, that 6% or so APR we saw in staked ETH is going to be cut in half, uh, which is about 3%. There are obviously swaps here, and that's why you can see here the base rate is 3.34%. Now, by providing liquidity to this curve pool, you can see to the right of that are the rewards uh, return. So you can see there's a base level return of 2.43% in curve tokens, and that can be boosted if you have curve to lock up and stake in the DAO. Um, and there's also the Lido tokens itself, which give you an additional APR of 13.64%. So in total through the curve pool, you could actually be earning a 19% yield on this staked ETH 
and ETH pair. Now it doesn't really stop here. So if you're saying, well, I really want to stake my ETH, uh, receive a 6% return or more, but I don't really have an interest in the Curve or Lido tokens, there is another option. So here you can see I'm on the Yearn.Finance page. Uh, basically, Yearn auto compounds and maximizes the yield on any assets that you stake in their vaults. What's really great here is there's actually a Curve Staked ETH vault. So you can acquire those Curve Staked ETH ETH LP tokens and you can deposit them into Yearn. What Yearn does is it basically aggregates all of this value and every so often uh, when it's gas efficient, it sells their Lido tokens and the Curve reward tokens and then compounds that back into this pool. So you're always going to be receiving more Curve staked ETH tokens, which means you're always going to be growing just your ETH position. If you don't want to receive Curve or Lido tokens, this is really a fantastic option. And you can see uh, they have $336 million of value in this pool, so it's clearly a very popular strategy uh, for good reason. Through this strategy, you're able to earn 16.7% APR on your staked ETH, which really is phenomenal. What's really cool about Yearn is you actually don't have to go through any of those steps before. You can actually zap in to this protocol and to this pool with just holding ETH. You can see there are five assets that you can send right into this pool if you don't want to go through uh, the process of converting to those curve tokens yourself. Or even if you don't want to stake through Lido, you can simply just deposit ETH into this pool and you'll automatically receive uh, the Yearn Vault curve staked ETH tokens. So this is a really convenient and easy way to start earning about 17% APY on your ETH. I haven't yet seen a return that high. Um, so if you just want to hold ETH, this is a great option that is pretty secure as far as DeFi goes. So I do want to point out one last option and that's Harvest. Uh, this strategy is a bit riskier because you're interacting with Harvest, which is a bit less reliable, I would say, of a protocol than something like Yearn or Curve. Uh, but you can see here that you can actually deposit that Curve staked ETH token onto their website and receive about a 15% or so APY. So right now it generates that APY by harvesting the Curve and Lido rewards and then compounding that back into your Curve staked ETH position. Uh, they're also distributing a very small farm reward in that native farm token that's uh, the Harvest's governance token. I just wanted to highlight this just to show you all of the options that are out there, and it's possible they end up uh, rewarding this pool with more farm in the future so that APY could increase. But I think most of you will probably end up staking on Yearn just because it's a bit more reliable of a platform, and right now the yield is also higher. One thing I do want to point out, uh, which is something that's a bit interesting, is that Cream actually used to allow you to uh, lend out your Y-Curve staked ETH asset and use that as collateral to borrow funds against it. So you could have actually been earning all of that yield by holding the Yearn Curve token and then you could have borrowed against it, uh, but they recently removed that as an option. So obviously it would be great um, if this returned, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon because Cream actually launched their own competing service to Lido. So the mechanics work a bit differently, but if you are looking for a platform where you can use ETH uh, to stake for ETH2 and then use that staked ETH2 as collateral to borrow against, this would be the platform to do it. Uh, if you're interested in seeing a video about that, it's probably its own whole topic, so comment below if you want to see uh, something about that as well. If that is something you're interested in, I just want to highlight very quickly the docs here. That Cream ETH2 token uh, can be used, 45% uh, of that value can be used to borrow against. So if you have $1,000 of Cream ETH2 staked on Cream, you can borrow $450 against that. Once again, the Cream ETH2 mechanics are quite different, uh, so do your own research. And then if you're interested in me creating a video about that, uh, once again, comment below. So that's pretty much all of the strategies i found to maximize return on just holding pure ETH right now. Right now, I think a 17% return on holding staked ETH is pretty phenomenal. Um, I welcome you all to the DeFi Innovation Chat. Feel free to join there if you have any questions about this strategy or want to propose other strategies. The community is always looking for new innovative projects in DeFi. If you found this video useful, uh, please give it a like, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, and then comment below if there's any projects or protocols you want me to do a video about. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.